<laughs> last time. No, literally, it's the last time. So what? We're looking to see whether or not the baseball wins are random. And for the last hundred and how many, Gus? Thirty. Past hundred and thirty games, as of the writing of this, we have that it was American National, American National, American... You, you know, you get it. So I'm assuming that our N1, the number of American wins, is going to be bigger than 20. Meaning that we're going to have to convert these to Z-scores. And the Z-score is going to have to have a mu, G, which is that guy, and a standard deviation, G, which is that guy. You can find those in your book. Okay. So now what? We need to count... We need to find our N1s and N2s. So to find N American, I'm just going to count the number of Americans in each one of those columns. You don't have to do it this way. Go ahead, count them yourself. Oh, dang, wait, did I count that one or not? So yeah, and then I'm going to add up. I'm going to add up all the number of A's in each one of those, and that's going to be my number of A's, 62. And since there was... Yeah... Oh, na, 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 look what you done started. That came from Christina. What was I doing? I was counting the number. I was counting the number of breaks and the number of runs. Notice my line that goes off the page. That run continues on. I was counting sideways so that I could get my G. That's my big G. Sure, because that's the number of runs. How many? How many? 62. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to find my mu G. Get down low and hit that. No, that's Y G. Okay, so now we're looking for sigma G. Now we're looking for sigma G. And we're going to go and we're going to plug our N A and N N in where we see N1 and N2 respectively. Bam. Oh, there should have been a plus one there. Uh huh. Claudia forgot that too. Okay, so then. Bam! We found our sigma G. And then here we find our Z by taking G minus mu G divided by sigma G. And we get minus 0.68. Now what? Since Z is a Z chart, we set up Z hypothesis. We assume that it's random until we're able to show that it's not. Our critical values are Z scores 1.96 and 1.96. 96 negative. Fail to reject in between. This is a two-tailed test. Reject to the left, reject to the right. And where does our, where might our test at lie? Right there. And the fail to reject. So, there is not enough evidence to conclude that World, C World Series victories are not random. Ah.